hut low. We're having local council elections at the moment in Victoria, and that is a profoundly boring time for everyone. Um, but I also know that a lot of the people who follow me uh, also care about what's happening in Palestine and care about the liberation of the Palestinian people. So if that is you uh, and you are in Victoria and you're about to vote in an election, um, maybe give this video a listen. If that's not you, uh, maybe scroll to the next one. A lot of you would have received your ballots already. Um, and in some of those ballots, you might receive a little spiel about each of the candidates. In fact, you should about each of the candidates. Um, and some of them will mention uh, Gaza or genocide or something similar, uh, and most of them won't. We've had a Victorian socialist candidate mention a genocide in Gaza, and then we also had the Electoral Commission say, you can't do that because that's offensive. And then also the Electoral Commission changed their mind because that's ridiculous. But what I want to tell you is if you want to find out whether your candidate, the candidate for your council ward or whatever it might be, actually cares about what's going on in Gaza, here's what you can do. There's a website called We Vote for Palestine. You can find it at wevoteforpalestine.net. And what you can do is you can click through, uh, you can find your local government area, you can find the ward that you're in, uh, and you can find out whether or not your candidate or a candidate in your ward has made a pledge to support the Palestinian people. Any candidate can do this. Any candidate can make a pledge to say that, hey, I support Palestine. So if you're voting and that's something that means a lot to you, I would suggest before you put your numbers in the little thingos, uh, just check that the people that you're numbering, you know, one, two, three, four, whatever, uh, actually care about the same things that you do. Because if they don't care about the things that you do, then maybe you shouldn't vote for them. I don't know. But yeah, ultimately what I'm trying to say is if you're about to vote in a council election, Go to westandforpalestine.net, uh, find your local government area after you click the who's pledged thingo, and just see whether your candidate uh, supports Palestine. Anyways, uh, thank you for listening to this. Happy voting. And um, I do want to say that this video is authorised by J. Vanden Lamb St. Kilda.